Hey, hello, what's up? So uh, today I give you a tutorial on how to install SideQuest onto your headset. That's right, this is a brand new method that allows you to download and play VR games like Minecraft, Doom and even Half-Life from within your quest. Yeah, not only that, it also lets you use custom home environments and gives you the opportunity to tweak your headset's settings, uh, such as increasing its frame rate and resolution. Stay tuned, so this is going to be a super duper easy uh, tutorial. And with that being said, let's jump right into the metaphor, shall we? And I'll explain how to make the magic happen. Let's go! Okay, the first step is grabbing a laptop or using a computer to download SideQuest. You can do this at SideQuestVR.com by clicking on Get SideQuest and download the new Easy Installer. It's on top. You can choose between Windows, Mac OS and even Linux by opening Show More. Anyways, after you downloaded your preferred version and installed the program on your PC or laptop, you want to start by clicking on Open Setup Instructions. This will introduce you to three simple steps. Step one is creating an organization. To be able to do this, visit developer.oculus.com slash sign dash up. Log in with your uh, Facebook account or Meta one and on the left, you can begin creating your organization. It doesn't really matter what name you choose, it can be anything you like, so be creative, okay? Uh, when done, uh, check off I understand and agree to the non-disclosure for uh, developers. To double check you made your organization, it should show up on the left side where you once started creating it. You can then go back to SideQuest and move on to step two. And that is turning on the developer mode in the Quest app on mobile. You can find this in the main menu under devices, developer mode and then simply flip the switch. It is recommended you reboot your quest right after to make sure your headset has saved these new settings because otherwise you might run into issues later down the road. Now it's time for the last step. That's step three and uh, this is just connecting the headset to your PC or laptop via a cable. Depending on the ports you have available, you can use the original charging cable that came with your headset or a USB-C to A that I'm showing right here. After you successfully hooked up the Quest, uh, don't forget to accept the USB debugging and the data message inside VR to give SideQuest access to your headset. Um, you should instantly see the connection status turning green on all four points. Now let's say one of them is still red and you have no idea what causes this, then you can click on fix it for me. And this is a magical button that will give you several suggestions of what could be the problem. You can for example try plugging the cable you use into a different port, try another cable of a different brand, reboot your PC or headset, turn the developer mode off and on in the mobile app or reset the USB connection dialog in the developer tab in the settings of your quest. Uh, if none of that fixes it, uh, hit up SideQuest's uh, technical support on Discord. They are happy to help you out whenever. There is a link in the description of this video. When you let's say are ready to go, then you can click on install SideQuest. This may take a moment, so do not disconnect your headset till it tells you it's uh, finished. Great, so now it's time to unplug your quest and strap it on. Inside your app library, you want to open the drop down list in the top right corner and select side quest in unknown uh, sources. You should get a pop-up that contains a six digit code that you have to link to your SideQuest account. So take off the headset again and go to sdq.st slash link. Sign up or log in with your SideQuest account and fill in the code. If you filled it in correctly, a new window will pop up that asks you to link the app. Uh, give it permission to do this and voila! You're set. <laughs> that in a nutshell is how you install SideQuest onto your headset. Yeah, congratulations. You can now use SideQuest to its full potential and play the latest and greatest VR games, experiences, software and more. It is good to know that there are two different types of games on SideQuest that you can download. On one side you have Oculus games, 
Well, Oculus games are pretty much early access titles that can be play tested by you and me. Uh, those fall under Meta's so-called App Lab program. And then on the other hand, you have sideload games. These are unofficial parts of famous 2D titles that were not built from the ground up for VR, such as Minecraft and Half-Life. To find out what type of game you are about to download and play, just visit its landing page to get informed. Most of the games on SideQuest are just Oculus titles though, so don't worry, these can be easily downloaded as they are hidden on the main store. Just hit the pink download button and a new window will appear. This window will explain to you how you can keep SideQuest open while browsing another tab. All you really gotta do here is drag SideQuest to the left and click continue. This opens the official store where you will be met with a final blue download button. Click on this to start downloading the game onto your Quest. Funny enough, this is the fastest uh, method available to date as it does not require a PC or phone to find and play these titles. That's a different story for the side-loaded games. Yes, uh, compared to the Oculus titles, they take some more effort to install. Let me show you how to do it. First, pick the game you want to play. In my case, that's Doom 3. And again, you can see if it's a sideload title or not by going to its page. So on the page, click download and wait till it's finished. If this is your first time, you will get a additional pop-up that you need to give permission to. After that, don't forget to click on the icon in the top right corner that says unknown sources. This once again uh, allows you to open an additional tab. In this case, that's going to be the unknown sources window where your freshly downloaded sideload game will show up. Now to be able to play it, you still need its original game files. The way you do this is by buying the game on Steam or on a different platform and installing it on your PC or laptop. Uh, don't worry, most of these sideload titles are not that expensive, so it shouldn't be a huge attack on your wallet. When it's all paid for and downloaded, you need to hook up your headset again. Uh, but this is the last time. Yeah, I promise. So, what you have to do is go to SideQuest on desktop and click on Transfer Files. Choose your game in the list, select the folder in where you installed it and let SideQuest do its uh, thing by clicking on Start File Transfer. This only takes a few seconds, it's really fast. If you, if you don't know where your files are located exactly, just go to your Steam library, right click on the game, Properties, Local Files and Browse will give you the exact address. Thank me later. And that's it. Disconnect the cable, strap the headset back on and you can launch your sideload game from the unknown sources tab. Ooh, spooky. It's absolutely amazing you can play these kinds of games in VR, especially since they have been made with a bigger budget. So you get to experience all of that and more with the power of virtual reality. Next to uh, playing games, you can also download custom home environments. Simply open the drop down menu on the left and head over to custom homes. There are tons of options in terms of places you can make your own. From famous movie locations to classic video game levels, everything is present. The download process is exactly the same by the way as downloading a game. The only difference is, is that you now have to click on the house symbol on top to activate it. This opens the official virtual environments tab and in the list you should find your newly downloaded homes. It's fantastic and to be honest with you definitely a lot cooler than the boring ones Meta has uh, on offering. Uh, last but not least before I uh, wrap up this video guide here are a few bonus tips that might be useful. Tip number one. <laughs> in the SideQuest app on your headset you can open a tab that lets you filter titles on different genres, platforms and even if they are free or uh, paid. Tip number two. You can resize the window of SideQuest to whatever you like. You can make it bigger horizontally and even vertically there are some options that you can go for. Tip number three. On the SideQuest PC app under headset settings you can modify your Quest even more. You can change its uh, frame rate, video capture size for recordings, set CPU and GPU levels and increase its texture size. There is a lot 
to choose from. Tip number four. If you want to clear some space on your headset, you can delete your games and home environments from the unknown sources tab. Easy peasy. And last but not least, tip number five. Like this video if it was useful and subscribe if you haven't already for more guides. And with that being said, I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time and bye bye for now. See you in the metaphors, the one that is owned by us all.